Today my Briggs & Stratton carburetor rebuild kit arrived and it is number 498260 and I've dumped out all the parts that are in there got a couple gaskets and the uh, the main pieces that I needed was this uh, gasket there <clears throat> and the needle seat right there so uh, I'll be using the rest of those pieces as necessary um, to rebuild this carburetor I figure for ten dollars you might as well use as many pieces as you can um, it's not like I'm running a shop where if a piece is still good on it I can uh, save it for another use so I'm just gonna use uh, all the gaskets and seals that I can one thing that I noticed uh, that I didn't pay attention to earlier was this bowl nut had quite a bit of uh, corrosion and stuff around it so I'm uh, just kind of cleaning that up with a toothbrush old toothbrush and using a uh, paper clip there's a couple of holes in the bottom here you can go through and ream that thing out get that nice and clean in there there's also a hole in the top I don't know what those are used for, but if there's a hole in it, then it's certainly used for something. You can actually see through um, the hole in the side for this pin going through. So everything's cleaned out there, but I'm just going to clean it up real good with a toothbrush. First off, we're going to put the seat, the needle seat, into the... Uh, carburetor in the uh, tube right there where it came out uh, on the needle seat there is a uh, a grooved side there and there's a smooth side right there um, the smooth side is what the needle will go up against so that side with the ridge goes in first Actually, what I may do is stick that on the drill bit and then lower the carburetor onto it. And just stick that in like such. Tuck it down in, make sure it's all the way down to the bottom and even. Next we'll take the float and the new needle. Hook that in there like such. Drop that down into the seat area. Supplied you with a new float pin, so take the new float pin and run that through. Actuate that and make sure that's moving the needle like it should be. Alright, then we will take the new gasket for the float bowl, drop that on. Making sure not to uh, twist it, make sure it's on there evenly. float bowl back on and that goes back on in any position um, there is a new gasket that is supplied for the float bowl screw so we'll put that on there if I can get it There we 
Yeah. And I believe we tighten that down with a half inch. Get it tight, but not too tight. You don't want to strip it out. <coughs> All right, now it's ready to uh, assemble back onto the generator. All right, we got our generator back up here. And uh, before we put the car back on, there is a rubber gasket here this is probably still good I mean it looks good but they give me a new one and I got no reason not to use it so I'm gonna use it uh, but not before I uh, put a little bit of carb cleaner on a rag and clean up around where that gasket goes And here's the new one. Just slip that on there. Okay. Carb goes next. Slip it on like such. We got the throttle cable here. Slips in there at an angle and then just twist on. And then the carb relocates right back onto that gasket. Actually, we're going to do a couple, three different things all at once here. We're going to get this choke in that spot. We've got the throttle cable on there, and we're going to put on this gas tube at the same time. Three part harmony. Choke is working here as soon as we get her all locked on nice and tight. Throttle cable's on there. Got our holes lined up. We'll put our two uh, 3 8 inch bolts in there. Gas connector is on. We'll put our uh, slip connector back on there. And that's it. The carb is on. Next uh, comes the air cleaner. Okay, we have the back side of the air cleaner here. Um, this hose attaches to this steel pipe here, which should be a little loose, but not like dangling loose. Um, there's a gasket here that goes to the carb. Um, they gave me a new one of those in the kit, so I'm going to use it. It's got uh, locator holes here in three different spots. So we're going to pop those on there, and that will help hold that into place while we screw it on. Get that hose on there. Make sure your holes are lining up. And we got three screws that have 5 16 heads on them. All right, we got our air cleaner. It goes in here like such. There's three tabs on the bottom. Drop that into there. And screwdriver, straight slotted screwdriver, closes that off. And our top cover, we put our top cover on there with our two screws, which I can't remember where I put that. But we put that top cover on and we're done. That's a carb rebuild on a... Briggs and Stratton 5 horsepower quantum engine.